Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look in on the African Night Crawlers in the Burmy Bag Little Mammoth. Now I've been coming in here and giving it water all the time to try and keep this heat mat uh, nice and moist. And uh, looks like I'm going to have to step up my game to keep right there uh, very, very, you know, moist. But looking at the moisture here in the middle, everything looks really good. So at least the worms have some place to go and that my efforts are not, you know, for nothing. Just, just love these guys. V grows some beautiful worms. Okay, so last time what we did was we fed them some of the horse manure or cow manure or whatever it is that I've been buying and uh, that's what they had, you know, for an addition last time was the manure, which is what most people who breed them, you know, use to grow them in. And then I gave them quite a bit of worm chow. And then while you guys were away from me, I also gave them more water and more worm chow. So people were asking me, am I going to continue to feed them paper bedding? And uh, the answer is yes. I definitely need to utilize them for their ability to plow through carbon sources. So today they will be getting not only what I'm going to consider their normal food, what, you know, is this, which is the cow, cow manure, as well as the, um, the worm chow. Holy cow, look at that guy. That's, that's a big worm. Off you go. Quit playing with the worms, Ann. All right, so what we're gonna do today is I'm going to top these guys off with some paper bedding, and then I'm going to give them their um, manure and their chow. Oops. So this bedding has actually been sitting for a couple of months. I don't know if you uh, get that packing paper from Amazon, big wads of uh, brown paper, but that's what this is mostly, in combination with cereal boxes and then the like. Got some uh, wrapping paper that, you know, is filling a uh, gift bag. So I'm gonna put that in there. Um, I'm really not sure. I think they're vegetable dyes or soy dyes. So there's not gonna be anything toxic in for the worms. Okay, I think that's almost enough. There we go. And now I'm going to put their cow manure on top of that. And it's going to be probably a little over a gallon or four liters of the manure. Kind of spread that out even. Hopefully make the cardboard nice and tasty. And then I just whipped up a new batch of the worm chow. And I did go a little bit heavy on the alfalfa meal. I'll show you a picture of what it looked like before I mixed it all up. Um, but I did go a little bit heavier on that since I don't get in here and actually feed them every single week. I wanna make sure that the worm chow that they're getting has enough nutrients to get them through a couple of weeks and not just one week. Um, I do have a full-time job, so these guys, although I get in here and have started watering them every single week, they don't get fed every week. Okay, well, if you like this series about the African night crawlers and my new plan to keep them healthy, give this a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.